Hi there, Steve here, and welcome along to another ETS2 video. This time continuing and concluding our Back to Basics series in ETS2 with the Scania Streamline. Pretty much the same engine as the one we did last time, the 360. Um, this time we're going to pull 20 tonnes of flour on a very short 82 kilometre journey going from Mannheim to somewhere that isn't Mannheim, to Frankfurt. Now, I normally start off these journeys backed up to the trailer. This time, because I've got advanced coupling turned on, I'm on 124, which is why I've had to turn all my mods off, I thought I'd uh, give the advanced coupling a go. I've literally just turned it on, so I haven't used it before. So let's give it a go. We'll start the truck up. Pop some lights on. Jump back inside. Okay. So let's see if I can reverse this up. Just using the mirror there. And with the advanced coupling, I think I need to be pretty precise. So let's just see how good we can do that. Done. That worked pretty well. I quite like that actually. So let's get on our way. So it's 20 tonnes of flour, pulling a very similar weight to the weights I've pulled in the other trucks. So this is a three, three same 360 engine, so I expect it to be very similar to the Scania R. Go sort of best fair to go for all the truck types before we move on to ATS. If I can ever get out of here. Okay, I don't think I have to push my way out. Are you gonna stop? No. Are you gonna stop? No. Are you gonna stop? Okay, well it's not left me much room to get out, but at least she stops, I suppose. And on our way we go. So yeah, in order to test this, I've actually had to turn off all my mods. So I normally have Pro Mods running, uh, Rust Map running. I've even got all the Jazzy Cat trailers turned off. Um, so pretty much back to a stock game of uh, ETS2 which I thought actually might be quite nice for a while I don't know the France DLC coming out soon so yeah this will be the last one of these for ETS2 until the new truck comes out so the next one is going to be the uh, Here's a new Renault coming out, so I will come back and carry on with that. But after this, it will be on to the two American trucks. And again, we'll come back to the series every time a new truck is released and do a similar thing. So, unsurprisingly, so far, very, very similar to the Scania R. Every time I play ETS2 I forget how good it is. Although my channel has mainly now switched across to being uh, OMSI, I do kind of miss this game. same wind noise problem again that we had in the last video which is a sound mod I do need to turn that off I think so the interior of this 
yeah, it's just as nice as a Scania are. Scania is a great place to be. So I don't actually know what the difference is between the Streamline and the R. I wasn't actually going to do both. But the uh, maker of my uh, truck skins, Tux McBay, sent me the skin for both. So I thought I'd better use it. So thanks Tux. Pulling quite nicely, eighth gear. So this is 20 ton of flour, so it's right on the nose for the weight we've been pulling in the other videos. Although that road noise is quite good when you're driving, from a video recording point of view, it's not great. So yeah, it's pulling okay, which is what I'd expect from a Scania really. 360 engine is doing good. Seven kilometers to go. Maybe I should have slowed down for that bend, but hey. going off off centre, I don't know why. There's me. Oh, rip gearbox. side of me. Well, it's okay. I'll go over that. So yeah, it's pretty much the same to drive, I think, as a Scania R. So I think the score may not be a huge surprise based on the Scania R. Need a new gearbox after this journey, but hey. And then here we go. So a very short trip this one. I didn't want to say anything too long, so because it's pretty much the same truck, I think. with the parking. Let's 
Is it going to take that? Yes, it is. Right, so it's parking brake on. I don't know if you can hear that. You actually heard it load the tra lower the trailer legs. I quite like that. And there we go. Let me just take a quick screenshot of that. Back in the truck. I do like the paint job. Thanks again, Tux. Oh, that's the brake on. Now I've stalled it. So there we have it. The Scania Streamline. So I'm not sure what the differences are between the Scania R and the Scania Streamline. If you know, then please leave a comment below and tell me. This is the last one of these videos for now, based in ETS2, as I said earlier. And the next one will be on to ATS. Most important thing though, the score. Well, the Scania R scores 7 out of 10. I think this is the same truck unless you can prove otherwise, so I think 7 out of 10.